In my textbook, there are some fairly complex diagrams that are actually entered as SVG, which allows me to edit them fairly easily. The whole textbook is actually just HTML plus SVG. And moving this to Canvas, one can actually move uh, MathML. Let me move a chunk of this. And HTML into a page. Uh, the HTML will come over and the MathML will come over, but the SVG will not. The SVG does not directly come across. So to, uh, to get an SVG over, uh, my first approach had been to use screen capture, but it turns out that Canvas uh, can now handle SVG images. So the other way to bring a image across is to go ahead and uh, select the image as, as you uh, as you see here, copy. There's some editing you'll have to do to it, so I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to get rid of the bottom close SVG. I do need an XML unless namespace, so I'm going to uh, use this one should be 400 up here. Make these match there, 500, and replace the original one there. There's one other change. Canvas uses SVG 2.0, which deprecated the Xlink uh, XML on this namespace. So down here, I have to have a bare href. This happened a couple back in 2018, roughly. So I do need to get rid of any references to an Xlink file, as you see here. And so that's, uh, we'll bring that piece over. Um, this is a slightly different diagram, but it'll work. So now all I have to do is do a file and uh, save that as um, temporary. That SVG is a fine thing to save it as. Save. Yeah, I'll replace that. Uh, I could use some other file names, so I kept this file for later use. Go to my course, get back to a regular view here, put that back, back together some. Uh, there. There's probably some code in here left over from my SVG. Uh, you have to take that piece out. It'll actually, that's what's creating that big block at the bottom. Okay. I'll come in here and I'll tell it to upload that SVG image. Uh, this is a slightly different one than I showed you, but the multi-column, same idea. Uh, I can give it an alternate. Uh, the alt text would be here, whatever I want to put in down there to submit. And that will bring the SVG in as a uh, image file here in the, uh, I'm looking in pages inside Canvas. So that's a way to get an SVG over SVGs have, with all the advantages that SVGs have of rescalability. So I'll say save that. MathML won't render till you save the page. That'll be a bit confusing, but there's my HTML text and my SVG text. It's in as an image, but it's actually sitting as a file. Uh, currently, if I look under files, I'll see that it's actually uh, being stored as a uh, as a file here in the uh, uploaded media. That's where these files are living, is back here. So I can get at the files this way. I could download it again if I needed to. So that's the way to move SVG files over without using like screen capture and just turning it into a static image, but uh, moving it as SVG. Uh, it's sitting inside the page itself now that I just created. As, a, as an image, it's actually in as an image file currently. Right. Go back to edit and just have a quick look at the code that was dropped into there. It's coming in now as an image file uh, with an API pull. That's all there is to moving an SVG over to, to Canvas if you have some SVGs sitting in some other location, as I do, 
here in my text. I've got these SVG files. 